In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the front brakes on this Dodge Dart. Let's get into it. We're gonna remove the wheel, use a 19 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. And these are lug bolts. Before I take the last one off, I'm just gonna hold the wheel on and grab the wheel and slide it off. We're gonna remove these two caliper bolts, use a 14 millimeter socket. Grab the caliper, slide it off using a caliper hanger. I'm gonna hang the caliper from the coil spring. Slide it out of the way. Take the brake pads off. Now we're gonna take this bracket off, take these two bolts out. Now using a E20 socket, we're gonna take these two bolts out. Grab the bracket and slide it right off. Take this screw out. We're gonna use a five millimeter hex socket. We're just gonna tap it on with a hammer. That's good. Take that off. Using a hammer, just give it a tap slide it off. Now we're going to take a wire brush, clean up the hub surface. All right, that looks pretty good. Take a thin coat of anti-seize, just put it on the hub surface. Try not to get it where the threads are for the lugs, for the studs, lug studs. Just a thin coat. That's good. Just take some brake parts cleaner, wash the back side of the rotor, take a rag and wipe it off, flip it around, we'll do the same on this side. And wipe it off. Slide the rotor in place. You want to line up that hole with the threaded one for the screw. Take the screw, get that started. I'll just snug this down, not too tight. Now we're going to clean up the caliper bracket. I'm just going to use a straight blade screwdriver. Just get underneath these pad clips or anti-rattle clips. Pry those up. Take those off. We'll take a wire brush, clean up these, the area where there's some corrosion or some rust.
in and take some silicone lubricant and, or some brake caliper lube. Put the new clip on and we'll do the same on this side. The lubricant under there is just to prevent corrosion or slow it down. You can pull the slide pins out, take a little brake parts cleaner, wash it off, wipe it down with a rag. If it's real dirty, you can spray down in here with brake parts cleaner. it out. Use one of these wire brushes. Clean it out. Take some silicone. Slide it in. Do the same on the other one. Slide good, and we can install it on the vehicle. Slide the bracket over the rotor. Put the bolts in. these bolts to 129 foot-pounds. And put these warning clips on the pads, or warning indicators. Sometimes they call them squealers. Slide this on. This is going to go at the top of the pad. Just goes on like that. This will go on the outside. And this one's going to go on the inside. Put the brake pads on. Slide it into the bracket. There we go, that's good. Slide the hanger off. Now using a caliper compressing tool, we're gonna compress the caliper. Just go nice and slow. That 
this all the way down. Take the tool out. I'm going to take the caliper, slide it over the brake pads. Get the bolt started. Now we'll torque the bolts to 32 foot-pounds. Now install the wheel. You wanna line the holes up. Take the lug bolt, get that started. Get the other one started. Now we're gonna to torque the lug bolts in a cross pattern to 92 foot-pounds. Just go around again, double check. After you're done, you wanna pump the brake pedal nice and slow. There's gonna be an air gap between the brake caliper pad and the piston of the caliper. Just about five times should be good. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.